Hey, good evening. It's Friday, October 4th, and welcome back to Everyday Talk 24-7. Really great to be with you tonight. We're looking at Proverbs chapter 15. And just so we can get a grasp of one chapter and read it through together and just draw some principles out that give us wisdom. Because remember, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. We learn that from this great book of the Bible, and particularly the wisdom that comes to us in the book of Proverbs. So I'm looking at this section of 5 to 12 in Proverbs 15 that tells us about why we need correction. Because you and I, we need help, and we're going to continue to need it, to need it as long as we're on this planet. And we're foolish if we think we don't need help. Remember verse 5 says, A fool spurns his father's discipline. But whoever heeds correction shows prudence. He shows the way how to live this life in a way that's valuable. And then it ends with verse 12. A mocker resents correction. He will not consult the wise. And the way it's worded here, this does not have a parallel thought. It just reinforces it. A mocker resents correction. He will not consult the wise. This is why you want to find friends who will tell you the truth, who will be with you, someone you can consult, that you can trust, that's wise according to the wisdom of the Proverbs. That's what Solomon is urging us to. A mocker resents correction. If you're angry with people who want to say things to you, if you don't have people that can come to you and honestly tell you what's going on, that's pride. That is resenting correction. We need to seek it out. We need to have people who will talk to us. A good friendship is a beautiful give and take because we know we're going to mess up. I'm going to mess up tomorrow. I'm, I'm going to mess up tonight. I need friends. But if I turn away from that, I don't need your help. I'm okay. Well, you got this problem. No, I'm okay. That is someone who is resenting correction. That puts us in a dangerous state. We don't consult the wise. And the consequences in verses 8 through 12 are devastating if we don't do that. Verse 8, the Lord detests the sacrifice of the wicked. But the prayer of the up, my upright man pleases him. I need someone to call me back from when I think about going in the wrong way. I can easily fall off the track. The Lord detests those who are the way of the wicked, but he loves those who pursue righteousness. So again, he's detesting the sacrifice of the wicked, He's detesting the way of the wicked, the way they live. And he says that he loves those who pursue righteousness. Part of pursuing righteousness is finding friends who will tell you the truth. This is huge. Verse 10. Stern discipline awaits him who leaves the path. He who hates correction will die. Do you see what, why I need friends who will tell me the truth? If I go up my own way, if I trust the, only the advice of this world, if I'm just conformed to the world rather than transformed, stern discipline awaits him who leaves the path. He who hates correction will die. These are strong words. And yes, the word of God directs us. Yes, we can hear things in church, but we need friends who know us and know when we're drifting off in the wrong direction. Verse 11 is even stronger. Death and destruction lie open before the Lord. How much more the hearts of men. God knows. God knows when we need help. And if we turn away from getting it, we're opening ourselves up to this ugly, horrible fate of death and destruction. 
If we read in chapter 4, Proverbs, whatever it takes, get wisdom. Value it above all else. Part of getting wisdom is having friends who will tell us the truth. Remember Proverbs 27, 6. Faithful are the wounds of a friend, but the kisses of an enemy are profuse. As I've said before, someone who only says good things to you, never corrects you, is either misleading you, or they're lying from you, or lying to you, or they want something from you. We need truth. And we need friends that will tell us the truth. Not harsh, not sarcastic, not nasty, not condescending, not like Job's friends, but friends who love us and care enough about us to tell us the truth of when we go off the rails, of when we're seeing things from a wrong perspective. Find friends who will keep us from trusting ourselves. A mocker resents correction. He will not consult the wise. You need a friend who will tell you when you're off. I need those kind of friends. I'm thankful for the ones that I have who will bless me in that way. Search out those kinds of friends. Find them, value them, cherish them. Speak the truth to them. We'll talk about that tomorrow. Find friends who will speak the truth to you, who love you, who will help you love correction. It's a precious gift. And that's the thought for this night. Again, love your thoughts, your feedback. This 15th chapter of Proverbs is just huge for us. It's so, so precious. And uh, Lord willing, We'll see you tomorrow. Have a great night. Bye-bye.